Well, hello everybody. I am Miss Jones. I teach here at Linda Charter Academy and we're so excited to have you guys join us this year. So throughout the year, we do a lot of reading, a lot of academics. And one of the things that when we're reading, we do a lot of listening skills and a lot of questioning about comprehension while we're reading to the students. So before you guys come and join us, I have a book I would love to share with you guys today. The book is called Pizza Cat Out of This World. And it is written by James Dean. It's a great day. Pete the Cat is going to space camp. Pete meets his bunkmate, Glenn. As they unpack, there is an announcement. Welcome space campers. Please head to the classroom. Your mission begins now. Time to suit up, says Pete. He and Glenn put on their space uniforms and race to class. There are so many cool things to do and super neat stuff to see. Astronaut Tom and Chris talk about their trips they've taken and they give a sneak peek at future space trips. It will be totally rad to go to space, says Pete. The campers find out what it feels like to be an astronaut. They go into zero gravity, into the zero gravity chamber. They ride in rovers and they even build rockets. Pete's rockets flies very, very far. Way to go, Pete, shouts Glenn. Next stop is mission control. We have some exciting news, says Tom. Our next flight leaves today and we're going to, to the moon and we have room for more. Pete, do you wanna go? Asks Sally. That would be awesome, says Pete. It's time to buckle up and set up into the space castle. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off. So now they're getting ready to fly into space. Their space, excuse me, their ship speeds through the space, through space, and they blast past a satellite and even spot a comet. Tom and Sally have a rocking surprise for Pete, his guitar. He plays a groovy interstellar song for them. Mission Control listens in. In no time at all, they arrive on the moon. They are ready to explore. The, astronaut, the astronauts collect rocks and map out the moon's surface. Pete has a very important job to do. He straps on a jetpack and heads toward Mars. He takes tons of pictures. Oh no, Pete lost track of time and the moon is far, far away. He has to make it back to the ship before it blasts off. Hopefully he makes it back in time. Phew, Pete made it back to the, in the nick of time. The astronauts head home and there's time for a few more tunes. Pete sure knows how to make an entrance. Pete's trip to outer space was out of this world. Still, he psyched to have his feet back on the solid ground. Rock on, Pete. And that was our book for today. So we are looking forward to you guys, and we will see you all soon. Bye.